the 17th chapter of the book of John, Jesus, when referring to his disciples, says, they are no more defined by the world than I am defined by the world. Can you say that? Woo! Can, can you say that I am no longer defined by the world because Christ couldn't be defined by the world? Amen, amen. Or are we finding ourselves being defined by other people? This is so important that we can't really move forward until we make this resolution. It's so important that in, in Rick's new book or this revision of the Purpose Driven Life, uh, he dedicated a new chapter to it because there are two things that most people get hung up on that keep them from discovering their call, keep them from discovering their purpose, Mac. The first thing is envy. Mm -hmm. Because envy says, I must be like you to be happy. Right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I gotta be yeah. like you. I gotta do things like you do. I gotta say things like you do uh -huh. in order for me to be happy. Uh -huh. Wow. But the second is people pleasing, which says I must be liked by you. By you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I, I gotta make sure that what I do doesn't upset you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That, that I do it in a way that keeps you as my friend, that keeps you as my buddy, that keeps you as my homie. Because if I don't, what am I going to do? Mm. Who am I if I don't have you? Wow. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. but both of them are wrong. And both of them will keep you from Amen. fulfilling God's purpose in your life. You'll never understand who it is that you are if you don't resolve to be who you have been created to be. If yes. You, don't first resolve that I will not be defined by other people. That's what Moses did. Amen. His first life-shaping resolution was this. I resolve not to be pressed into the mold that other people want me to be. I am going to be what God wants me to be. I am going to do what God wants me to do. And I am going to fulfill the plan that God has for my life and not somebody else's plan. Why? Because I can trust God. Yes. Amen. Amen. God is trustworthy. For the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 that I know the plans I have for you, sister. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you future and a hope. That's real success. Real success is not fake. It's not phony. It's not artificial. Real success in life begins with exactly knowing who and what it is that you were created to be and nothing more. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Amen. God, I, if Amen. I could just hang out there, if I had time, I would hang out with the and nothing more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Learning to be satisfied mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm. Amen. Ooh, that's for mm -hmm. a whole Amen. day. The, the second resolution that, that we need to make uh, if we're going to be all that God wants us to be, the second life-changing choice is this. I choose short-term pain for long-term Gain. Help me, Jesus. I choose short term pain for long time gain. Are y'all all right? Y'all yeah. kind of quiet. I know we got our kids in here today, but I wanted them in here today because some of them need to hear this point in particular. Anybody who's ever played sports knows this one that you've got to put out effort if you're going to if you're going to actually be a champion. Right. That you've got to practice. You've got to work mm -hmm. hard. You've mm -hmm. got to put some sweat equity into the game mm -hmm. if you're going to get out of it the championship. Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah. that right? Right. Mm -hmm. But but in, you don't just walk out onto the field as a champion. you got to do mm -hmm. something in advance before you actually are mm -hmm. acknowledged mm -hmm. as a champion. No pain. No gain. No gain. You've got to put out in order to get back. You're going to do anything worthwhile. You're going to have to put in some short-term pain in order to gain long term. Yes. Now this isn't just true in sports, it's true in finances. It's true in relationships. I've, I've got a, a great marriage. But we put in the work. Amen. 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 You know, Amen. Monica and I have worked hard for years. It doesn't just come easy. We right. work at this thing. Uh -huh. Amen. Marriage Amen. Is, is not easy. Relationships are not easy. You've got to work at your marriage if your marriage is going to work. Amen. 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 If you're not willing to put in some short-term pain every now and again, then you can't have a long-term gain. Amen. Amen. I'm so blessed that that just this week we got to celebrate my grandparents' 60 yeah. wedding anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. 60 years. Our culture today, oh, yeah, just don't that do that. Mm, we find yeah. all kinds of reasons.
reasons and excuses. They're just short-term reasons and yes. excuses in order to kill out long-term accomplishments. This is the reason why Monica and I are doing that Friday night Valentine's Ball on the 15th because we're constantly working at it in order to make sure that we get something out of it and that we put something into it for the long term. I'm so grateful for the merits that I have, but it doesn't come easy because Amen. every now and again you got to do some short-term stuff. Amen. Amen. In order to get long-term results. Yeah. Why is this resolution important in your life? Because most of the problems in our life come from our inability to delay gratification. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most of our issues in life come from our inability to delay gratification. Every society teaches, or everything in society teaches us that everything that I want, I want it now, I want it free, and I want it easy. Right, right. And the fact of the matter is, life ain't that way. So often, the, the problems that we have are our inability to put off pleasure for a moment in order to gain pleasure for a long time. Okay, I see that y'all are looking at me crazy. I'm going to have to drill down just a little bit. See, the reason why we get into debt is because of our inability to delay gratification. Mm -hmm. You say, I want it mm -hmm. because I see it, so I'm going to have it. But do you have the money for it? Well... <laughs> See, you, you don't have the money for it, but you got the credit for it. So what do we do? We charge it. Mm -hmm. hmm. You put it on the card. And every time you use your card to buy something that you can't afford, you're refusing to delay gratification. Pin drop. <laughs> See, we get deeper and deeper into debt because we want what we want now. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. It's not just you. America's falling off of the financial cliff that's because it right. refuses that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. to deal with its bills that it's already racked up. Mm -hmm. So we live in a culture that just continues to promote the idea, okay, let me get off of that. It's true about physical fitness. Mm -hmm. Since finances <laughs> didn't seem to work <laughs> in this house, let's deal with physical fitness in your health. <laughs> don't don't want to pay for good health. <laughs> exercise, the right diet. Just give me a pill. <laughs> some magic pill that's just going to melt it away. Or some, some crazy little ad machine that I can plug into the wall and it just shakes me down. I don't get it all. It just, you know, it just doesn't work. It, 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 okay, it's back to the world. Let's deal with relationships. People say that I want to follow God about sex. I want to have sex now. You're not married. But I want sex now. Okay, sit there. Sit there. I'm coming oh, for you. Oh, my. <laughs> sex in unmarried relationships cause problems. Amen, life. Amen. Amen. Because when you have sex Woo. with somebody, you give a part of your heart to them. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I know you, you, you could have blamed it on the alcohol, but you left something there. <laughs> <laughs> something that was there. And when that happened, you, you, you ended up giving part of yourself away. Mm -hmm. And I gotta ask you a question. Were they worthy to have a part of you? Wow. Ooh. I mean, what was the criteria that you used in order to give them something that God told you to do? Yeah, that's good. And you're sitting here trying to figure out why you're thinking about them at certain times and certain hours of the day. It's because they own part of you. Woo! Jesus! That's all right. See, y'all get quiet on me. I'm coming down your street. <laughs> See, the reality Ooh, is that these us. cause spiritual problems. <laughs> the, the things that come easy are generally sleazy. Mm. Ooh. 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 Mercy. Anything <laughs> easy is typically the wrong thing to do. <laughs> and I'm sure if I could get at least one or two witnesses, it's the hard thing that's generally the right thing. Amen. 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 The right thing to do is generally hard, and it's it's the painful thing to do. If somebody hurts me, it's it's easy to hurt them back. The right thing to do is to forgive them. That's right. Uh -oh. But that ain't easy. Uh -oh. That's right. Uh -oh. And that's not painless. As a matter of fact, it's painful. Oh, yes. 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 It's painful to forgive somebody that's hurt you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to let it go. Ah. I don't want to forgive them. Mm -hmm. I want to hold a grudge. Mm -hmm. I want to get back at them the way they get at me. Mm -hmm. The right thing is often the hard thing to do, but here's what happened with Moses. Y'all all right? Mm -hmm. He made the choice. Verse 25 says this, Moses chose 
Hebrews 11, verse 25, you still have it open, circle Moses chose. He chose to be mistreated. Yes, yes. That's painful. Yes. Along with the people of God, because remember, they were slaves. Right. Rather than to enjoy the palace of Pharaoh, the pleasures of sin for a short time. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. did, 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 do you know what I love about the Bible? It always tells the truth. Amen. Did you catch that? It, it doesn't sugarcoat it. It doesn't gloss over it. It always tells the truth. See, what most of you all lost in that just a moment ago is the fact that it says, uh, rather than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short time. Did you catch that? See, the Bible tells the truth because it says that sin is pleasurable. Right, 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 right. So you're not crazy to enjoy what you enjoy, the way you enjoy it, who you enjoy it with. Come on, Pastor. God knows that. Oh my. He know He knows you, player. So it's it's not wrong to enjoy it because the Bible says that sin is enjoyable. Oh Lord. It says that sin is pleasurable. But catch what it says after that. For a season. For a season. It admits that it's pleasurable. It's just pleasurable for a Amen. minute. And can I just pause Amen. parenthetically and just say that many of us have have disillusioned ourselves to the length of time that we enjoy pleasure. Disillusioned. <laughs> 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 oh, I got my kids in here, so yeah. it's amazing how much of our life we put into such a short period of time. Uh -huh. Jesus. <laughs> Catch it if you can. <laughs> Nobody would do sin if it was painful. Right. <laughs> we do sin because it's pleasurable. It's pleasurable to break the law. It's pleasurable to eat too much. It's pleasurable to, to do all kinds of things that are not good for you. Even the Bible says that it's the pleasures of sin, but it's for a season. It's for a short time. You can go out and you can have your kicks. God is not going wow. to stop you, but you no will problem. have kickbacks. Amen. Woo, mm. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, help me. You can go out and do whatever you want to do. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. <laughs> but there are consequences. You're free. God has given you free choice to make any choice you want. But you're not free to choose the consequences. So I can go out and have sex with as many people as I want to. But if somebody gets pregnant, well, mm -hmm. somebody, if I get an STD, mm -hmm. that's a consequence I'm not free from. Right. You're, you're free to choose anything you want to do, but you're not free to choose the consequences. And the moment that you make a choice, you are no longer free. Mm -hmm. 